Hello and welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to fill your entire screen with super monkey temples on Balloon's Tower Defense Battles. So make sure to leave a like on the video and maybe even subscribe. Now let's get on to it. Alright, so for this method to work, you should probably have a friend because it makes it a ton easier and you guys need to create a party room. Once you guys have a party room, make sure to make it a bonanza, playing with fire and boosty so that balloons give you four times their normal economic value and you start out with 500 eco. The second preparation you need for this to work is going to be having the mega boost power. And this is very important and this method cannot be done without it, so make sure you have it. I have a picture of it on the screen there, so make sure you have that locked in. So now that you've created a party room, you should choose your monkeys. Choose uh, the super monkey, uh, the mages, the ice monkey and the cannons because those are the beginning of our plan. So quick note, we're actually playing on the offside field, so you should totally do the same. All right, now let's get into it. So you gotta put down at least three mages because these are what are gonna help you get through the first couple rounds. You know, the first maybe 15 plus, all right? And this is gonna be the very starting rounds, okay? So once you get those three mages, try to upgrade them to Dragon's Breath, like you saw on the left here. All right, now once you've upgraded your mages to the Dragon's Breath, this is where the real fun actually begins. But quick note, make sure to upgrade all of the mages to Dragon's Breath because it's really gonna help you. Maybe even get a Phoenix because that'll be great. The next step of this plan is to start sending balloons to your opponent. So the goal here is not to try to overwhelm, but it's to raise your economy. So you're gonna wanna send black balloons and they are unlocked at round 12. All right, and if you guys didn't already know, you have an economy, and those are the small green numbers uh, right under th your money. All right, so when you send balloons, they're gonna increase your economy, and in this case, the black balloons that are worth $150 increase my economy by 24, and that is actually four times the normal amount they raise my economy. And this is because we set the game rules on Bonanza, playing with fire, and boosty. So that's very important because you're, you're going to need to raise your economy to 10,000 by the end of this because we're going to be spending a good amount of money. Now on to step two, which is going to be the longest and most expensive step here. So what you want to do in step two is to get a ton of super monkeys in to fill your entire map, but you also want to get in some mages, ice monkeys, and cannons alongside them. So as you can see in the gameplay right here, I added uh, a couple super monkeys and I'm adding uh, one or two, you know, ice monkeys per every like five super monkeys. Now what that does is it acts as a sacrifice for when we make them temples, making each of the temples stronger and with more abilities. Now make sure you have mostly super monkeys though, you don't want the other stuff getting in the way. So like in the title, you want to add super monkeys all across the screen to make them temples. Now, make sure to put in a lot of them before you upgrade them so you have more room. And once you've added a fair amount on the bottom side of the screen or the top side of the screen or the whole screen, you're gonna want to start upgrade them, upgrading them, which is gonna be kind of a hassle, but you don't need to upgrade them all the way into temples because that won't work. They're gonna sacrifice all that's around them. So you actually wanna upgrade them to sun gods. And as you can see, I just got a sun god. And you're going to want to upgrade the other monkeys, like the freeze monkeys, the mages, and the cannons, also to their max paths. Try using some different ones too. But essentially, you're going to want to get super monkeys that are stun gods, and you're going to want to upgrade their range, alright? Now get all of the super monkeys stun gods, except maybe like a couple, make them technological terrors, so they also absorb those. But the important thing is, you don't upgrade anything past the sun god, because we're going to do another trick to make them temples. Okay, so extremely quick thing, um, you know the reason why you were sending balloons to raise your economy? Well now it's all paid off because if you were sending the whole match, your economy should be soaring through the roof and you should be getting a ton of money, and therefore you should be uh, covering the cost of these super monkeys no problem. Finally, all the way up until round 40, me and Gaming Guy, we had only just finished getting the sun gods, but now it was the most satisfying part. So now that we've finished all of the all of the upgrading, all of the placing super monkeys and other stuff, it's now time to upgrade all of them at once. And this is the most exciting and best part of this whole method. So you'll see in just a second how we did that. And sorry for the lag, by the way. It's because 
too much stuff on the screen. Step three, pulling the trigger. So this is how your like game should look like once you've placed all of the monkey temples and everything else. So uh, try to get a sort of like that if you can. And now we're gonna press on the monkey boosts. Remember those mega boosts I told you to add in earlier? Well, well they're gonna upgrade all of our sun gods and it's gonna be so awesome. So here's the satisfying moment come true. Well, would you look at that? The end. I hope you guys had fun watching this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Uh, thank you to those people on screen. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, guys. So for anyone still wondering what round we lost at, here it is.